Keith, if you could actually just play a little bit of that saxophone for us and I'll ask you about what you've played when you've finished it. Keith Donald, thank you. That's the first time we've had live sax on this programme here on The Last Word. Uh, what was that particular tune that you played for us? Well, it is yet to be named. It was made up on the spot. <laughs> so you can name it. It's either um, Cooper's Blues or it's uh, uh, Barrel House, Barrel, Barrel Workers Blues. or <laughs> Barrel Workers. Yeah, whatever, whichever you like. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Hey, I noticed as well when you're doing it, and it'll be on the video as well they were showing, uh, it, it does take a certain degree of physical strain, doesn't it? You sort of went much redder in the face as you were playing that. What sort of physical demands does playing the saxophone or clarinet place on a musician? You get used to it. Initially, it's very hard and people can't get a sound out of an instrument without huge physical effort. But as you learn the technique and how your mouth and your <coughs> lungs interrelate, it becomes easier. But yeah, there is a physical effort involved uh, and you've got to time the breathing so that you can still function as a human being uh, uh, as well as a musician. So it's almost like a form of athleticism. It is, yeah. I, th I think of it as athleticism plus it's my meditation. <laughs> 